Hey, what up? Now make sure y'all smash the like button. Let's get into this thing right quick, right? It's because Showtime Sports asked a very interesting question, okay? It asked, you see it here on the screen, but they're asking, do you guys want to see a rematch of Spence Crawford? Comment why, okay? So they're even questioning, should they even have a rematch? All right, through, through all estimations, you know, it's one of the biggest fights in history, you know what I'm saying, on, on paper and the amount of paper that they made, all right? We had two of the greatest welterweights in boxing history getting in the ring and squared off for undisputed first time in welterweight history, right? And we know that Terrence Buck Crawford emerged from that. In my opinion, he's the GOAT. He proved enough to me that um, with his skill set, bro, anybody at welterweight do any... Um, Error, Terrence Bell Crawford is stopping him. I don't care who it is. I don't care who y'all picking or whatever the case is. This is my humble opinion. Now, I want to show y'all something, okay? Now, why would they even question this, okay? Right? Why would they question it? They know and we know that Errol Spence Jr. should never get in the ring with Terrence Bell Crawford, okay? Even though the thing made over 75, um, uh, 750,000 pay-per-view buys from what I'm seeing, um, and over 21 million at the gate. Um, with all things considered, the way how they promoted the fight, it's a knockout of the park success. Congratulations to both fighters. They all made a boatload of money. Now, this is what I want to do. I want to get a temperature of what the people is talking about, right? So y'all know my stance from the situation. So follow me now. You know what I'm saying? If your comment gets read, oh well. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna start at the very top. Cause God always has a special way of putting the truth at the very top for everybody to see. So first and foremost, what does it say? It says, it's a mismatch. A brawler shouldn't step into the ring with a great boxer like Bud. At any weight, Bud would embarrass Spence. And that's just how it is. That's a fact. That's a super fact, Jack. In fact, you know what I'm saying? Bro, listen. I was, I was salivating at the fact that these two were going to be fighting twice in one year. I said, man, just thank you. Thank you, God. And we get a chance to see that. Now, I'm like, hell no. Never. I'll never want to see that rematch again. Never in common sense is saying that. If Spence get back in that ring with Terrence Bud Crawford, it's going to end worse than the first one. Okay? And um, this guy said, I don't I don't think you know what a mismatch is. They are both extremely good competitors. They're supposed to have the same styles. No. It's not a mismatch. Spence is a brawler who boxed a boxer. It was playing. It was a, it was the wrong game plan. No. Um, name another brawler fighter. Then go watch the, him compare to Spence so you can educate yourself before speaking. Wow. They kind of crapping on this dude, huh? You're clearly a casual. The big boys are talking about literal boxing styles. Go, <laughs> go back to watching KSI fights. All right, so anyway, bro, so you can see here that, that these, these idiots are, are trying to crap on this guy. And then them the same ones. See, this is proof of my in a pudding, bro. These are the same ones, bro, that's, 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 going, that's in Spence's comment box, in his Instagram messaging, you know what I'm saying, messaging uh, folder, you know what I mean, uh, trying to get this dude to fight Bud again, bro. See, these are the idiots I be talking about, dog. So you got somebody with some common sense here saying that Spence's health is more important than legacy. He already proved enough and made enough money to live comfortable life, to live a comfortable life with his family. I agree. You know what I mean? Like, he, he, he if he steps out of the sport now, he has all his faculties in, in check, even though I don't believe he should retire. I just think that he should stay far away from, from, from Bud. He ain't got nothing to, he can duck Bud. See that, bro? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Errol Spence Jr. should duck Terrence Bud Crawford. That's exactly what I'm trying to say, bro. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's go down here and see. Okay, so we got a guy here named, named Free. I, 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 all Free. He's saying, yes, at 154, the only concerning here is Spence Held. Okay, so let's talk. Let's look at this real quick. This is going to be my last one. At 154, but Spence needs a fight or two before. Okay, I can see that happen, all right? He, he sees that, right? So, uh, seven pounds won't make a difference. I don't believe so, neither. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, yes, it does. And the boxing ring most definitely does. Okay, so these guys here, you know what I'm saying? Not how a rematch clause works. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. Let me do one more. Okay. 
So, uh, what are they saying here? When Crawford demolished Spence Jr. like that, that doesn't deserve a rematch. Facts. Somebody with common sense. Spence deserves a rematch. He's been a unified champion for a long time. You know what I'm saying? He's not saying, right? He's not saying that he should rematch him. He's saying that he deserves one, all right? So, I understand what he's trying to say, right? So, Bud had an answer for absolutely everything that Spence threw at him and, and retaliated with murderous shots every time. No point of having a fight again. Facts. No evidence to suggest that a rematch would be any different. Spence had no answers against Bud. He's fought his whole career at 147, but it's possible he's outgrown the division. But Crawford is saying it's been difficult for him to make 47 also. Shockingly, it looked like a mismatch in there, but it doesn't deserve a rematch just because we all expected a close fight. Facts. Hey, here we go here. Spence is a warrior. True, we true boxing fans su supporters know what's up. He's got to look better for his health more than anything right now. Terrence Crawford was his toughest fight. I definitely would have said yes if it was a close fight, but that was total domination by Bud. Charlo's next. One loss doesn't define a fighter. As masterful performance as Crawford gave, Spence body of work prior to this fight, uh, prior to this fight, plus his stature as a champion, warrants him receiving another opportunity, but not at 147. It's like people forgot that Spence destroyed his last few opponents. You know, and, and in my humble opinion, bro, you know, that, that, uh, People are, are still screaming for this guy to have a rematch with Terrence Bar Crawford. All right, that's their opinions. But but bro, at the end of the day, you see the numbers here, bro. Sixty-three percent saying no. That the the vast majority, you know, what I'm saying already knows that that Errol Spence doesn't stand a chance against Terrence Bar Crawford. And that's meaning something. But I wanted to show y'all this, bro. You know what I'm saying? That like like bro, a vast majority of the people who saw that fight. Can see it, can 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 show you better than they can tell you that Errol Spence has no business back in the ring with Terrence Bar Crawford. I don't care what nobody say. And the ones that do, the thirty-seven percent of them that do, wants to see Spence die in the ring. That's probably his fans, and the majority of his, of his fans, they need to go ahead and just suck it up, bro, and, and just understand that that the. This version of Errol Spence, where we have right now, in this time of day, right now, should never step in the ring with Terrence Buck Crawford. And that's the end of what I got to say about that.